our new Pope Francis has coined a new phrase, let yourself be mercied by God. We cannot live without God's mercy. We need God's mercy in our lives every day. I read a quote from Bishop Robert Barron, which was, I think was quite interesting, quite good about what mercy is. It is love turned towards a sinner. In fact, it's the greatness of God's love that is revealed in mercy, and it's only in mercy, really. The greater the sin, the greater the mercy, the greater the love you realize God has, and God really does want to show that. We are damaging our own humanity when we sin. And so when we're being healed, God is restoring us to ourselves. Reconciliation is a, a, just a, a wonderful way of uh, unloading, as it were. I encourage everyone just to receive the grace of the sacrament, not to be concerned about what they're telling the priest, because my thought on that is he's heard everything. And just confess your sins, receive the grace, and watch your life change. Admonishing the sinner doesn't mean just shaking your finger at somebody. It's working with them in a way to let them hear the gospel teaching in a different way maybe than they've heard it before. Then when they realize that their life is inconsistent with it, most people of goodwill make the change. They change because the beauty of the teaching is opened up to them and you can't argue with beauty. And whenever we receive this sacrament also, we are given the grace of God that helps us to overcome our weaknesses. If we lose a sense of sin, what we really have lost is the sense of God, the sense of His love. Because sin is ultimately uh, not about just missing the mark, it's about a damage to a relationship. And when you're in love and you've damaged a relationship, you want mercy, you want healing, you want forgiveness. God's gift to us uh, through, through forgiveness, through His love for us, can make us and change us into something that we never thought we could be before. Well, similar to the, the, uh, the great gospel reading of the adulterous woman, where finally Jesus turns to her and says, woman, is there anyone here, here who accuses you? And she says, no. And He says, go. And go is the future. It is go He's telling her, go into the future. Your past is behind you. That is God's mercy. Reconciliation allows us to go back to that moment of baptism and make us clean again. So through, through reconciliation and that sacrament, uh, you can go back to that pure state that you were when you were baptized uh, with a clear conscience. So allow God to be merciful to you this year.